in January of 1997, we sat in this very room, different configuration, and we announced that Sparky Lyle would become the manager of the Somerset Patriots in a team that did not exist, in a league that never had played a game, in a ballpark that we could only hope to be built. It is the first time in the history of baseball that a manager has been called emeritus. And for all of you uh, non-political figures who don't know what emeritus means, it means holding emeritus, holding after retirement an honorary title corresponding that you held during your active service and career. So Sparky, not only are you emeritus, you're the winningest manager in the history of the Atlantic League. Emeritus means that you're going to be able to continue to do what you've loved to do. You've loved the fans. You've loved the community. And you're going to welcome all of your friends as you always have done. And we're going to continue to do it. You'll be even more immersed and involved in the community because you won't be on the road. <laughs> and now everybody will see Sparky Lyle unplugged. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Well, today uh, it's, it's been a little while since this has come up since Stephen and I have talked. And uh, 15 years, five championships, 1,000 wins, a lot of great players came through. And you know, as I uh, was at the ballpark the other day, walking by the big uh, uh, thing on the wall there that has all our championships, I come, it comes to mind about uh, Mark D. Felice and Robert Dodd. Those two guys went so far above and beyond. Uh, Mark D. Felice threw 165 pitches in the championship game. Robert Dodd goes almost nine innings with two days rest. I mean, these guys accomplished something that they never ever thought they would. And I think that's one of the things that I'm most proud of is that a lot of these guys that came through, the, the Nettles, the Presleys, Hagens, Elliot Ayala, Billy Hall, I mean, there, there are just so many. And, and all these guys, I think, came away from playing with the Patriots, I'm not here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and took away something that, that they achieved that I don't think they ever thought they would. And now getting back to what we're doing today. I went home and looked up Manager Emeritus right after Stephen told me that. It was a long ride. It was an hour and a half wondering what the hell this was. But, <laughs> but I got to tell you, it, it is so heartfelt for me to continue to be with the Somerset Patriots organization. It, it, it really means a lot. And I appreciate everything. But to get back to... Uh, what we're doing here, we're here to announce a new manager for the Somerset Patriots. And I want to tell you that uh, this guy definitely deserves to be in this position. He played for me. He's been a pitching coach. He's been director of player personnel. And now he's going to be the manager of the Somerset Patriots. So, Without any further ado, <laughs> the new manager of the Somerset Patriots Brett Jody. Thanks everyone for being here. Uh, I want to thank Steve Callifer for, for the honor of being the second Patriots manor, manager in history. Um, Bob on such a legend, it, it, it really means a lot. I want to thank Patrick McBerry uh, for the opportunity. And I really want to thank the entire front office staff um, I know all the hard work that goes into making this thing work, and it will not run smoothly without everybody doing their part, so I definitely appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, the Patriots give me many opportunities. Uh, first as a player in 2003, I came off shoulder surgery in 2002 with the Yankees, uh, needed a place I could go, show teams I'm healthy again, uh, didn't know anything about independent baseball. 
I had no idea what I was getting myself into. My agent thought it would be a good idea. Found me the uh, Somerset Patriots. Um, came there as a player. And it's just, from that point on, it was just it was the time of my life. Uh, I fell in love with the place. And obviously, I haven't left, really. <laughs> Uh, I did. We did win a championship that year in 2003. We won a bunch of ball games. Uh, continued on and got picked up by the Red Sox after that year. So I got to see the product firsthand that I went to, played for, had a great time, the most comfortable I've ever been playing. They care about you. They genuinely care about you. Want you to do well and want you to move on and further your career. And I'm a testament to that. I did that. Um, then after my playing career ended, uh, you know. That's always a scary time. What are you going to do? What's the transition? What am I going to do? Well, I was able to be you know, offered by the Somerset Patriots to be the pitching coach in 2006. I gladly accepted. Um, the year after that, 2007, they offered me the director of player procurement. I accepted that and didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> but I, uh, I figured I could do anything for a year. You know, what the heck? So I, uh, I took that on. Uh, a couple years later, we changed it to the director of player personnel because that just has a better ring to it. <laughs> so, uh, did that, and now I stand before you today as a manager. Uh, so, I, I do appreciate the Somerset Patriots, all the opportunities I've been given, and uh, I, I really do love it here and fell in love in 2003, and it's been that way since. Um, Sparky Lau, I can't say enough about, about this guy. Um, I could talk about you all day, but I'm not going to. Don't, don't. Uh, I, I appreciate from day one, first of all, you give me an opportunity to be on your staff. Uh, you know, you took a rookie in. I've never had any coaching experience at the time. You took me in. And what I really appreciate is the respect. Uh, you trusted me with the pitchers. From day one, you said, there's the pitchers, you got them. And I, and I like that because, I mean, you pitched about 46 years in the big leagues and won, some, won a lot of awards and stuff. And if you wouldn't have given me the pitchers, they, they never would have, you know, I could never could have gained their respect probably. Well, I, I knew that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. And you, you let me have them, and I, and I ran with it and obviously learned along the way. And I, I appreciate the respect and everything you showed me Thank for that. Uh, working alongside you, I've been with you, I guess, nine years. Um, and it's, it's just been nothing but a pleasure the the insight you've given me, the knowledge you've you've helped me gain, uh, you know, learning more about the game, it's just, um, it's it's been a pleasure, and that's something that I will cherish and remember, and it's going to help me as I further my my coaching career. Uh, but most of all, what I'm going to remember is our, our friendship. Uh, Absolutely, it's, it's been uh, it's been a great ride, and I'm definitely glad you're still going to be around because. I want to hang out with you more, but we got to have those coaches meetings. You know uh, what yeah. I mean? We can call them something different now. Maybe a Meredith meeting. Meredith <laughs> meeting. That's good. Uh, so I like that. We'll do, we'll do some of that, you know, but um, I definitely will cherish, uh, you know, the, the times to come and, and the times that we've had in the past. Thank so you. thank you for everything. Thank you. Um, expectations with the Somerset Patriots. This is where we get along great because we're on the same page. It's to win ball games, to win championships. My goal is the same as the fans. We have wonderful fans with the Somerset Patriots. Uh, they expect us to put a good product out on the field. They come excited to see a good product win, and that's what we're planning on doing. Um, my goal is to follow in the winning tradition that Sparky Lyle has created, and, and that's uh, winning championships and winning games. And uh, that's, you know, for those of you that do not know me, I'm very competitive, and that's what I'm about. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, carrying on that tradition. I will continue to sign the players for the Patriots. I've been doing that since 2007. Uh, what I look for, and I tell these guys on the phone, I'm looking for good human beings first, good players second. Obviously, I'd love to have the combination, but you can't always find that. So I'll take a good person first. Somebody that's going to be good in the locker room, get along well. I mean, this locker room, that's, that's, your, that's your home. That's your second home, and it becomes family in there. So you all want to get along. Um, and it's very important that we get guys in here they're going to represent us well and bust their tail on the field to win ball games, but also out in the community. This right here is not a joke. It's something to represent, and they got to go out there and represent this with pride. You know, God has blessed me with a job where I can make a living doing what I love to do in a place that I love to be. And it just doesn't get much better than that. So I'm uh, very excited for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Look forward to the upcoming season. Thank you.